Being able to use two displays at the same time for work can improve productivity significantly. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a device that you may already have as an external monitor to another computer. More specifically, how can you use an Android tablet or an iPad or a Windows tablet or Windows laptop or a Mac laptop as an external display for another computer. When I talk about using two displays at the same time, I'm referring to extended desktop mode where you can move your cursor from one display to the other. On this table are the connections and apps featured in this video. This row has all the main devices and this row has all the external displays. So for example, if you want to extend your Mac OS desktop over to Android, these are the apps you can use. If you want to extend your Windows desktop over to a Mac, these are the apps you can use. These are just some of the apps that I know of. There are many apps that support external display functionality. And if you know of a good one that works great for you, share with me and others in the comment section below. Most of the apps here support wireless connection. If you want cable connection, some of the apps, they do have the cable option. And each app here has its own pros and cons, which I will talk about more in this video. To use an iPad as an external display for your Mac, it's easy. Just use the sidecar feature provided by Apple. Go into System Preferences, Displays, choose the iPad to connect to. If you have an iPad and a Mac, use Sidecar because Sidecar will give you the best image quality. There is minimal latency. You still get touch screen support. There is support for Apple Pencil, pressure sensitivity, tilt sensitivity, and palm rejection. The only limitation here is Sidecar is only available on Mac OS. So if you want to connect your iPad to a Windows computer, you need something else. To use your iPad as an external display to a Windows computer, there are two options you can try. The first option is to use an app called Duet Display, which is the app that I'm currently using. The second option is a hardware solution called Luna Display, which I will talk about later. Duet Display is a one-time purchase of US $15 and it requires a cable connection from the iPad to the Windows computer. So the animation is very smooth, very fluid. This looks like 60 Hz to me. There is minimal latency, so it's very responsive and the image quality is fantastic. Everything looks very sharp, very detailed. Downsides there is no Apple Pencil support. So here I can use Apple Pencil to tap on things, to click things, tap and hold. But Apple Pencil just works like your finger. There is no tilt sensitivity, there is no pressure sensitivity, there is no palm rejection. The company that makes Duet Display actually do sell a version of Duet Display with Apple Pencil support. Let me just zoom into this page. This still supports finger gestures, thankfully. These are the three versions of Duet offered by the company. Duet Display is a one-time purchase of US $15. Duet Air is $25 US a year. And Duet Pro is $35 US a year. So these two are subscription-based. And in terms of features, you can see Duet Pro has the most number of features. Just to summarize the features that I see here, Duet Display will give you the extended desktop mode and mirror mode with touch screen and basic finger gestures and it will require a cable connection. If you want wireless connection, you have to go with Duet Air. And if you want Apple Pencil support with pressure and tilt sensitivity and palm rejection, you have to go for Duet Pro because Duet Air does not support Apple Pencil with pressure and tilt. You can still use Apple Pencil to draw, it's just that there is no tilt and pressure sensitivity. So drawing is no different compared to drawing with a rubber tip stylus. The second way I know of to use an iPad as an external display to a Windows computer is to use Lunar Display, which is a hardware solution. AstroPad is the company that makes Lunar Display. I'm not sure why AstroPad went with a hardware 
solution because as you have seen with Duet, it is possible to get wireless connection without a hardware. Official retail price of Luna Display is a one-time purchase of $130. Sometimes it's on discount. There are three versions you can choose. There is USB-C, which is supported by Mac and PC or Windows. There is Mini Display Port, which is supported by Mac. And there is HDMI, which is supported by Windows. This cannot work through an adapter. So if you are using HDMI, you cannot use this connected to a HDMI adapter connected to a HDMI port. So you have to buy the correct Luna Display adapter in the first place. The main selling point of Luna Display is it can let you use the iPad as an external display for Windows computer. And this can also let you use your Mac laptop or your iMac as an external display for a Windows computer or a Mac. Performance of Luna Display will depend on the resolution you choose. For the iPad, you can choose Retina resolution or non-Retina resolution. So with Retina resolution, everything will look sharp, but there is noticeable latency. With the lower resolution, you can see slight pixelation, but latency is much better when it comes to scrolling, moving your cursor around, all that is going to look smoother and way more responsive. And that is actually the resolution that I choose to use, non-retina. Luna Display supports Apple Pencil. There is pressure sensitivity, tilt sensitivity, and palm rejection. However, palm rejection is actually supported by Apple Pencil and not the software. So in this case, when I draw with my finger, I can still introduce straight strokes. So if I draw something and I rest my palm on the display, you can see straight strokes. So palm rejection is there, but it doesn't work flawlessly. Currently, I'm using the iPad at lower resolution to get better latency but there is still latency. So if I zoom in and out, there is this split second delay before the zoom happens and the zoom is not that smooth. If I increase the resolution so that my artwork looks sharper, there is going to be more latency and it's not usable for drawing. So that's the compromise. If you want better responsiveness, you have to use lower resolution. But if you want better image quality, you have to sacrifice latency and responsiveness. Luna Display lets you use your Mac as an external display for another computer, whether Windows or Mac, but it doesn't work the other way around. So for example, if you want to use your Windows tablet or laptop as an external display for your Mac, in other words, you want to extend the Mac OS desktop here over to this Windows tablet. It cannot be done with Luna Display. You need another solution. And this is in extended desktop mode. You can also use an iMac. Just make sure you check the system requirements before you buy that because not all Macs support Luna Display or Luna Display doesn't support all Macs. There are many Android apps that can let you use your Android tablet as an external display to your Windows computer. I'm showing you one of the more popular ones. This is Super Display. So I have Super Display installed on the Android tablet and the driver installed on this Windows computer. And I have connected them using the same Wi-Fi network. You can also use cable connection if you want to. So let me just drag this window over. So these two are in extended desktop mode. You can move the cursor left and right. Image quality is pretty good and latency response is pretty good as well. Although from what I can see, it looks like it's running at 30 Hertz refresh rate on the Windows computer that I have here, it's much smoother. Anyway, uh, most importantly, the image quality is good and uh, responsiveness is overall pretty good. Super Display has pen support. You will get pressure sensitivity, tilt sensitivity, and palm rejection. And 
finger gesture support is pretty good it's quite smooth quite fluid and i can double tap to undo if you happen to be using a samsung tablet you may have access to this feature called samsung second screen which can let you use your samsung tablet as an external display to a windows computer as well so to do that just turn on samsung second screen from the settings next on your windows computer press the keyboard shortcut windows key and k this will pop up a box here and this should show your samsung tablet so now you can connect these two together wirelessly so this samsung android tablet is now the external display to the windows computer on the right side there are some limitations the resolution is sharp but I can see image compression so the image quality isn't that great but definitely still usable another thing is there are black horizontal bars at the top and bottom because this is a 16 by 9 desktop presented on a 16 by 10 display so if you want the desktop to fill up the whole display you have to install the Samsung second screen driver which is available through the Microsoft App Store. In the Microsoft App Store, the name to search for is Second Screen, not Samsung Second Screen, and make sure the developer is Samsung. Samsung Second Screen supports pen input and finger gestures. It supports pressure sensitivity, tilt sensitivity, and palm rejection. However, I find that pressure sensitivity doesn't work that well. You see the lines here. They are supposed to be smooth, but there are a lot of jitter and with this app when i try to draw circles um, you can see glitches if for some reason the pen or finger gestures do not work just make sure that under the connection you allow mouse keyboard touch and pen input so now i'm on super display connection Drone performance of Super Display is better compared to Samsung second screen. However, drone performance will also depend on the app that you're using, the pen as well as the connection, whether it's wireless or if it's cable. And this is how you can use an Android tablet as an external display to a Mac. The app that I'm using is Duet Display. So this is the same app that I used earlier to use the iPad as an external display to a Windows computer. The strange thing here is Duet Display is supposed to use cable connection, but for some reason I was able to get wireless connection here. Duet Air is the app that supports wireless connection image quality is fantastic you can use the external display at high resolution and everything will still look and feel quite responsive downsides there is no support for pressure sensitivity and tilt sensitivity so using your pen here is no different from using your finger if you want pressure and tilt support with your pen you have to go with duet pro which is us 35 dollars a year unfortunately i do not know of any one-time purchase app that can let you use your windows tablet or windows laptop as an external display for your mac the app that i know that can do that is duet air but duet air is a subscription based app which is 25 us dollars a year so for desktop connection to extend this mac os desktop to the windows tablet i need duet air which i do not have but based on my experience with duet display with mac to ipad connection mac to android and mac to mac it works really well so chances are duet air with the mac and windows connection should work well if you know of any non-subscription based app that can let you extend the mac os desktop over to the windows tablet or laptop let me know in the comment section below as to whether you can use an android tablet as an external display for the ipad or the ipad as an external display for the android tablet 
I don't think you can do that. And that is why there are two blank columns here because you cannot extend the iPad or Android tablet screen over to these devices. All right, round up time. If you want to use the iPad with Mac, go with Sidecar because it's free and it has the best performance. If you want to use the iPad with Windows, go with Lunar Display. This is US $130. This is quite pricey. So if you know of any other way to use your iPad as an external display for Windows, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to use Android with Mac, go with Duet Display, US $15. If you want to use Android with Windows, go with Super Display, it's $10 or $15. If you want to use your Mac as an external display for another Mac or Windows, go with Lunar Display, which is one-time purchase of $130. Duet Air is US $25 a year. If you want to use Windows as an external display for your Mac or Windows, go with Duet Air, which is subscription-based. I hope this is useful and can improve your productivity. See you guys in the next video. Bye.